Okay, well, welcome to XP. Um, my name is Andy Sprakes, I'm the Chief Academic Officer of XP Trust. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited today about showing you what we do and also sharing with you one of our standout features so that you can critique that. So what is standout about XP? There is a lot of things really that I think stand out about us. Um, we've heard this morning already about culture and culture is a really, really massive feature of our school. So you will, you'll see hopefully today that emerge through your discussions with students. The picture be behind me here is of a, of a community meeting. We have those every week. We also have crew every day where we circle up, but that's, that's another kind of standout feature that we're not going to explore today, but I can talk to you about that because culture is really, really important to us. Um, the, the standout feature that I want you guys to look at today is actually expeditions and how we grow uh, our character of our students and how they create beautiful work. The guy behind me here is uh, Larry Rosenstock. Uh, he's the CEO of um, High Tech High in San Diego. And we went out and met, met Larry. Larry, when we, it's highly successful schools, when we talked to Larry, he said, one thing he said to us was don't segregate your kids. And that's something that we've adhered to. The other guy here who's in between me and Gwyn, who's the CEO of the trust is Ron Berger, who also has heavily influenced, certainly expeditionary learning has heavily influenced the school. We teach all of our all of our curriculum pretty much through what we call learning expeditions, and they're cross-subject expeditions, academically rigorous. Uh, we create purposeful work, and that's what I want us to focus on today, actually, the, the, the purposeful work that we do. So we link our expeditions to real world issues and we also get our problems to impact on the world outside. So that's the kind of feature that I want us to look at. This graphic is about the anatomy of a learning expedition and it's also on the wall over there so you'll be able to use that today when you're going around classes. You might see displays that show case studies, guiding questions, etc. But you can come back to that on, on the wall. We have some key features in terms of expeditions. They are led by staff, they're designed by staff, they're reviewed by staff, and they are planned uh, to the letter by, by staff. So one of the big things for me is to look at how our, exp how our expeditions connect with the world. Um, and you'll see a lot of products, I've brought, brought some products down here for you, for you to have a look at as part of your investigation, your seeking that you're going to do. And uh, I'll, I'll allow you to look at those in, in more detail later on. There are some standout expeditions that you will come across, I think, that do connect with the world. And they're specifically around uh, local history, which I'll, I'll come back to at another point. So our, our students are engaged uh, and motivated because they uh, are doing work that is purposeful and has meaning. And, and impacts on the world around them. So you can see here, there's a couple of examples of um, expeditions that we've done that you'll see around, around the school. Uh, one of those is Don't Mention the War, where students worked on what should we remember about the First World War, and that was actually displayed at a local museum, and uh, it was, it's also become part of the, the National Digital Archives as well. We, you'll see around school, and you'll see the booklet uh, here, uh, that we've done work with the Jorvik, uh, York, we went to the Viking Festival, the students looked at uh, the chemistry of uh, artefacts and then wrote about the history and then wrote a first person narrative including that artefact. So all of, all of the things that you see today, I hope your view has been really beautiful work. And everything we do, we strive for that, we strive for excellence, we strive for beauty. So that this particular piece of work, uh, it lives outside of the school in four of our local parks so that our community benefit from that, that beautiful work. This project, the Torn project, was when the students we had a problem with waterlogging on our backfield. So we worked with uh, the River Torn and the Project Highweight and we sorted that out and we sorted that out and there's no, there is no uh, flooding now. This particular piece of work is uh, a piece of work that we did 
with Pottery Cow, which is a local uh, nature reserve, and the students created a field guide for, for young children. And all the learning was connected into that, starting with Darwin and looking at the adaptation of species. So I'm really privileged because I, I was the co-founder of XP along with Gwyn. And when we went over to the States, went to Springfield, we came across this from a guy called Tom James, who has been a massive influence on us. And that is, uh, you know, to open a school, school is to proclaim what it means to be human. I think that's really important. I've also done some kind of unashamed uh, advertising here as well, because we have put together a book about how we XP, um, and that, that's available for you to look at. So our inquiry question is, how can we build on the strength of delivering learning expeditions to achieve an even greater connection with the world? I think we do connect with the world, but is there a way that we could uh, actually make that even stronger? So that's what I want you guys to look at today. Another line of inquiry as well is also, uh, and it links to the point that, that you made earlier about how well can our students articulate that learning? How well can our students articulate the curriculum? How well can our students metacognate? So it'd be really useful to get your kind of views on that as you go around today and talk to students. So welcome to XP, I hope you have a really, really stimulating day.